I'm Jeff Wittick, deranged internet personality, talk show host, barber to some of the web's biggest stars, such as Casey Neistat and even David Dobrik. But most importantly, I believe in helping people. I take the knowledge I've learned throughout the many mistakes I've made in my life to help people, my friends, family, and sometimes people I just find interesting. I've scoured the web to find some of the most interesting, funniest, kind-hearted, beefy boys on the internet. They will compete for a life-changing $10,000 to see which one of these beefy boys can lose the most weight in one week. I needed this because I gained like 25 pounds during like quarantine. I kind of let myself go, I spiraled into depression, and I thought the only solution was to eat, eat, and eat, but I ended up turning into a whale. Oh, look who it is. Oh, oh hey, man. We gotta be all flashy, do we? How you doing today? Doing great, I'm on top of the world. But the uh, suspension system, that thing looks like it's on the bottom. Your car's screaming for mercy. Our car's good, baby, you're slower. Airsoft has kind of an ego to him, kind of put us off on the wrong foot when I first met him, throwing out these fat jokes and these fat insults and stuff, but whatever. It's not, I'm not letting it get to me. This guy looks skinny already, man. Would you get the biggest shirt you own? Hey man, I'm not like you, bringing a bunch of fat people to make fun of them. No, okay, don't start. Beverly don't, Hills. Don't, sh don't start. This is not what that is. You know what you're doing. First things first, we had to do the weigh-ins. This time around, we we're gonna do things right. So I brought them to a top of the line health and wellness facility to get them weighed. This is the same scale the Kardashians use to weigh their fat asses. So it's perfect for these beefy boys. So we scan their full bodies for body fat percentage, water weight, muscle mass, and of course, weight. I'm gonna fucking die if I don't do something about this. You're not gonna die because we're starting this today. Jonah, a previous contestant and winner of the first series, was once canceled by the internet for being too fat. And after winning the last series, with COVID hitting, causing mandatory lockdowns for months, along with his channel dying, it caused him to fall into a deep, dark depression that he tried to eat his way out of, which turned his one small problem into a much bigger one. Next up, we got Lincoln. Lincoln is a comedian who rose to fame on TikTok. His original comedy style, delivery of one-liners, and mysterious accent is what originally caught my eye. But after flying him out to Hollywood and spending time with him, I realized Lincoln is battling much more. I'd like to share a little bit more about myself. I grew up in a stressful household. My parents were always fighting. And I was homeschooled up until the fourth grade. I didn't know how to talk to people. I wanted to make people laugh, but I lost myself into addiction. I didn't know how to handle the thousands of hate comments I got. I wanted to end my life. What kept me going was love. If you got a problem with the way I look, talk, or am, you're the problem. Stop hating on people because they're different and don't fit into culture. I'm trying to overcome severe social anxiety and depression and inspire people along the way. Oh, he's got a TikTok tattoo? Oh, yeah. Damn, that's badass, dude. You went all in. That's only been around for like six months. Airsoft Fatty is a YouTube star that rose to fame after a popular YouTuber, iDubbbz, made a documentary where he dove deep into Fatty's interesting lifestyle. Fatty's vulnerability and desire to win is what made me realize he was the perfect beefy boy to compete in this challenge. I'd like to just not have to buy two plane tickets. It gets expensive after a while. Oh. What'd it say? Poor Ned, the teacher number of 40 by 50. That's not good. I'm a little disappointed in myself. 50% body fat. I thought I was gonna look better than that. That'd be more along the lines of 45, 46. But it's 50, 23. All right, boys, let's hit that freeze tank and start freezing this side off. This is it right here. Yeah, you're not nervous right now. <laughs> In this tank, it gets up to negative 150 degrees. It speeds your heart rate up and in turn speeds up your metabolism. Come out early. Oh man, good. Didn't think it was gonna be that cold. Unfortunately, Fatty's blood pressure is too high to be allowed in the tank. We'll have to find some illegal meat locker or something to stick him in later. Okay. Well, I kind much. of expected it somewhat, you know, being that I kind of consistently have had a high blood pressure. Test. You gotta get that blood pressure down. The good news is it's not too late, you know? It's never too late. Well, it, it, it is too I mean, late when, when, what? If you, if you die. This is Julian. He's a guys. personal trainer. I'm excited. I mean, we got our work cut out for us. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Here, go. Oh, I have fun. Look. Have fun. Where's Nick? Nowhere to be found. I don't feel like hell, but I'm making it. I was playing in the first place. Go through hell. Feeling good. 
And these guys, you could tell they really want it. I'm inspired, I'm proud. I'm just pissed off Jonah didn't show up. Dude, they're out here putting in the work and Jonah's just laying downstairs not doing shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna go tell him he's out of the competition. I'm not in for a goddamn streamy award. <laughs> you want me to go chase down a fat guy and tell him to work out? <laughs> Yo, what's going on? just finished. You can make the last of the workout, 20 minutes left. I'll meet you guys up there. Just come now, I don't trust that you're gonna come. What is this shit? Airheads? You're a fucking airhead. This is a fat cow on the fucking logo. You are what you eat. <laughs> All right, boys, look who finally decided to show up. <laughs> he showed up late, so they're gonna run through some of the stuff he missed out on. But feel free, talk shit to him, insult him, make fun of him. Let him know how mad you are that he showed up late. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Oh. I told you how I'm worried about my health, man. That you're not gonna see me in five years. If I don't change my habits right now. I'm not the one who showed up 40 minutes late for a workout. What's wrong? Does he need his feet to massage? I'm 50% body fat, you're 40. Worked out. Fairly uh, tired. Right, but that's how you know you did it right. Today I'm gonna eat good. Uh, I just feel weak. Oh, I kind of feel like I'm gonna throw up, but I gotta keep going. It's day two. I took the boys on my favorite hike. I took them the short version. And once again, Jonah was nowhere to be found. Jonah's over there eating Jack in the box. <laughs> <laughs> like he's a bitch. Here I am, 388 pounds. How about asthma? Heart pressure, blood pressure, diabetes. I've got every reason to bitch complain. How you yeah. doing? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Do you wanna call it? Nope. You sure? I'm gonna keep going. You know what, Jonah? I was gonna encourage you today, but you ass couldn't even show up. And here I am, over 100 pounds over you. <laughs> and I'm here! You can ate that up like nothing. You come run with me and Todd. So don't know about so running. I don't wanna say I doubted you, but after seeing Jonah come up here and quit over and over again, and he has 100 pounds less than you, I didn't think it was possible. You're not serious about the weight loss. Bro, this guy just yeah. hiked up the mountain. You did? did Boy. It That's more than Nick has done in four years, so good job, yeah, man. Go in there and take a shit. <laughs> go. Uh, oh, yeah, this hand is <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, this asshole! <laughs> Bro, he was at Chick-fil-A. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Come on, enough with the anal sex training already! You know you got the right butt plug to do it! I'm trying to do my own video. You're kind of here intruding right now. You skip the workout. I'm doing a video too, bro. I'm doing something that's trying to change. Okay, bro, so stay back. If you're not going to respect me, I'll okay, okay, give you the camera. Fine, stay back. You're talking about respect here? This kid just almost died. He stared death in the face and he overcame it. He showed up 40 minutes late yesterday. He didn't even show up today. We just f***ing put our work in. We did something extremely hard. <laughs> this is unbearable. And why are you stressed out? You're sitting here clout chasing Adam W. to be on his f***ing TikTok. You're not even going to be alive to have the f***ing clout. <laughs> you know, we're going to get all these followers and you're going to be dead from a heart attack. I mean, that's going to be showing up That's not the answer. I don't, I don't like these videos, bro. I made, I made this in six hours. I don't want I don't want to do I don't. It's just... I'm late. I have to go. It pisses me off. I can't stand. I can't be around them. Bro, it's a competition. You should be. Lincoln is fine. Well, of course you like the guys who aren't gonna point out the bull. <laughs> you don't like what it's pointed out yeah. to you. All right, I'm gonna. Have you coming? You want to replace Jeff? No. Yeah, replace. Oh God, try to f replace Jeff with a uh, with a brown version of it. I don't mean it like that. Oh wow! Yeah, look at this guy, bro. Yeah, look at this guy, dude. Give me those memory cards. <laughs> Water. Trust me, I know it looks weird, but what the heck is it? It's got kale, spinach, protein, chia seeds. Ooh. It's got a lot of good stuff. I hate to say it now that you got it, but I hate lettuce and stuff like that. Okay, but we're trying new things here. Just Fuck. bear with me. These things are gonna make you feel good. They don't taste good initially right off the bat, but mm. at the end of the day, mm. you're gonna feel better. All Cheers. Right. Be optimistic. Ooh. How is it? <laughs> no, it's not that bad. That is bad. It's not that bad. It really is. <laughs> the lettuce makes me puke. What's going on? I called no. you this morning. Yeah, I know. I didn't pick up. Yeah. I was asleep. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you now or tell you another time, but I'm doing another weight loss series. Okay. I'm doing it with your brother. You guys My brother? Yeah. Yeah. 
because I'm worried about him. Yeah, he's very obese. My brother's a piece of crap. He's been a loser again. He's been a lazy piece of crap. A loser. Okay, he's stressed today though. Let him let him chill. Susie! Dubai! Nick's having a fit. He got mad that we came in, brought the competition to his video shoot. No, I'm being serious? No, dude, I'm not fing around. Here. It's not about that. What do you mean? No. We're just filming. We're just vlogging. I just came, I just want to go say what's up. I know you're gonna, you're coming here doing this shit. He's your brother. He's gonna hug you. What the fuck's your problem? Don't curse at me. I didn't ruin your shoot. We're filming BTS. Don't Don't threaten people, dude. Jonah, ever since he's moved out, he's got to a dangerous weight. Yeah, you know, I think he's, he's really sad. The other day I was at his house and I went through his cupboards and it was like all sweets. Mm -hmm. Everything was sweet. Me and my mom always talk about we're just afraid of him going into like, like having sicknesses. Yeah. Jonah is the type though that if he puts his mind to it, he could do it. Yeah. For sure he can do it. It's just he doesn't he doesn't put his mind to it. He's, but I think this time he did. He's weak, right? Yeah. Come on. Come on, let's get that Here we go. There you go. Oh. Aerosol got the helmet on. It's tight on the shoe. Yeah, we got a 4X. It, it, it may be tight, but it works. Never give up. Never give up. <laughs> well, dude, that's, like that's great. Your eyes look like it's going to explode. Everybody's got high blood pressure. How the f is your blood pressure doing? Yeah. Have you at least been tested for that stuff, Dan? I have. I'm fine, dude. I'm, I'm f***ing healthy as a, an eagle. Starving yourself just won't work. Take it for someone who's done it for... Did it for four months and went, boy, you lose 30 fucking pounds and it comes right the f back. It comes back. 30 pounds turn to 60 pounds turns to 600 pounds. You get the seatbelt on? He's gonna try one more thing, I think. First, he was told he couldn't do it because the helmet wouldn't fit because his head was too fat. And then he finally jammed the helmet on and squeezed his skull in there. And he gets in the car and then the seatbelt doesn't work. You think just being fat, you gotta deal with people calling you fat, but you can't race go karts, you can't do fun shit. There's a lot of things that you don't get to do, and I don't know that. I've been skinny my whole life. Sometimes I think I'm fat, dude. Maybe I have body dysmorphia. How was it? You have fun? Go to trail with the one. Airsoft one, right? Oh, airsoft one, I think, yeah. yeah. Airsoft one? Yeah. Let's go. You won? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm so happy we made that work. I can't believe I actually pulled it off. We actually pulled it off. Dude. Holy crap. This feels amazing to do. And then the unexpected happened. What's up, Lincoln? How you doing? I'm done. Doing okay? You're not feeling so good? Oh no. It's been a great time here. Why did I live early? Because I'm just a shy knocker guy. Yeah. Next time on the Beefy Boys Weight Loss Challenge. Lincoln had to go home. I didn't say goodbye. I know you fat f***s want this. Definitely yeah. this fat f*** right here. <laughs> it's okay, let it out, let it out. Johnny, you fart, 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 fart. Oh. Oh, damn. Sorry, guys. They got their laptops out over there. I just want to go to burn a man and suck my own dick. I just want to go to burn a man and suck my own dick on a spaceship.